All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start off with giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bakakodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity and all charity. And uh, this is going to be a, a, another lesson, and uh, hopefully, this video is edifying. And, um, and today's topic is um, storing your treasures, uh, storing your treasures in heaven, okay? And what, what that means is that our focus and our uh, mind, our strength, is supposed to go to the Heavenly Father, man. Because uh, he's, He has entrusted us with this knowledge, all right, that we uh, may bring forth profit, man. You know, remember, you go into the parable of uh, the talents. You know, some some got two, some got five. I believe some, uh, one got, uh, um, you know, one. You know, and then... Uh, um, we got to increase that ta those talents that the Lord gave us, all right, so that um, when he comes back, you know, he gets his money with, with, uh, with usury. Now, what that means is, you know, us going out there, you know, you know, waking up the elect, all right, you know, you know, pushing this vibration, all right, that, that we may grow in the in this thing, man, like it's written, like it's written, like it's written, like it's like it's like it's, like it's written. I don't know my it's like my saints fucking with my speech, but how, uh, how it's written in First uh, Corinthians fifteen. In fact, um, since I was gonna start there, but since you know, stuttering, let me get it real quick. First Corinthians fifteen. I'm, I'm gonna get right to the point. This is uh. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And what's the work of the Lord, man? This, this husbandry, man. All right? You know, we, uh, like it says in Hebrews, man, lay, uh, you know, labor that, that, that thou may enter in, into the, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to get it. I don't want to make two scriptures at once, but, you know, well, basically, man, um, I believe it's Hebrews 11, or if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, because the scripture says, hate not laborious work, man. So, you know, we, we're supposed to love this job, man, because this, this is our true riches, man, that we're storing up in heaven. Um, basically, um, you know, I forgot how it's worded. Lock it, but it's uh, let me just go. So, here to Google, look, really, uh, Hebrews 4 and 11. All right, says, matter of fact, I want to get in the blue letter so I can go into that word, um, labor. Okay, it's Hebrews. Four and eleven, and it says, "Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief." All right, so we're gonna go into that word labor. Okay, <clears throat> spodazo. That's the uh, Greek word for labor, and it says, um, "To hasten, make haste, to exert oneself." And do give diligence, man. And that's what we gotta do, man. We gotta give diligence, man. All right. And that's part of labor in this thing, man. You know, because, uh, you know, when we till the ground, or right, when when a farmer, you know, tills tills a field, man, he, I, right, he, he wants he wants to uh, uh um, you know, get done with the job, man. So so you, so you can find so you can find that rest, man. And that's what we're looking for, man. And that's why he gives his uh he he he's diligent in it, man, all right? Because if he slacks, he, he's never gonna finish, man. All right, you know. And and this in the uh, um husbandry spiritual, all right? Because this 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 is what we're we're doing, man. You know, we're laboring, man. We, uh, we have our hand on the plow, like it's written, like how it's written in Luke. 
I was supposed to labor, man. Okay. The scripture says what, man? Uh, uh, break, uh, break up your fallow ground, man. All right, because what we're doing is what is we're planting seeds unto unto the elect, man. All right, this word. All right, when we're out there preaching the house and byways, all right, we, we we're planting that seed into the hearts of men, man. Now we know some are gonna fall on the stony ground, some on good ground, and some are among the thorns, man. All right, but we, uh, we're giving diligence to making to make our election sure, man. All right, we're giving diligence. All right. I right, we're making haste to enter into that rest, man. All right, so you know, matter of fact, I I quoted, but says um, hate uh, not labor's work, man. Let me see if I'm spelling it correctly. Correctly, right? Is the book of Sirach seven and fifteen? It says, "Hate not labor's work, neither husbandry." Right? You know, because this is our job, man. You know, this is which the Most High hath ordained. You see, so so the Most High ordained us to go out there and uh, um, you know, plant the seed, you know, uh, uh, give diligence, all right, you know, let our people know that uh, we are the Israelites, man, that you know that Most High is gonna come and deliver us soon, all right, and we gotta get back in order, right? So um, you know, cause the thing, the thing, the reason why I bring the scripture out because. You know, it's, uh, I have here uh, Proverbs sixteen sixteen it says, "How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather than cho or rather to be uh slack it, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver, all right? Because uh, understanding the scriptures, all right, and believing in this knowledge, all right, is it's what's gonna keep us uh, um stable in the times that are gonna come, man. Like it's like like how it's written in was that uh, um I Jeremiah thirty three, I believe." Knowledge and wisdom should be the stability of your, of your times. Let's see if I get that real quick. Um, it's the lucky from from everywhere, brothers. But okay, it's a book of uh, Isaiah thirty three and six. Lucky says, "Uh, you know, it's Isaiah, not like Jeremiah." Is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. All right. So the fear of the Lord is a true treasure, man. All right. Because the scripture says, man, uh, um, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. All right. When you start to, to worship and, and to fear the Lord and to seek after him, all right, it's when, it's when the Lord uh, starts giving you, uh, 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 you know, wisdom, man. Okay, he starts dealing with you more and more, all right. Because when when uh, all hell breaks loose and, and we're in the hour of Jacob's trouble, all right, uh, these riches that we have, these these tangible things aren't gonna uh, benefit us, man. All right, like how like how it's written here in the book of Ezekiel. I have here Ezekiel. Now I'm just gonna jump around, and this is a prophecy that Ezekiel seen. It says, uh, "Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying." Uh, also, thou son of man, thus say ye, how power unto the land of Israel, and end and end is come upon the four corners of the land, right? And in th and this destruction, this devastation is gonna come across the whole world, man. When th it's gonna be a whole, uh, it's gonna be a global collapse, man, right? And and people are gonna be uh, uh, going crazy out here. People are gonna uh, uh, become insane. I, you know, what, what did the Joker say, man? These civilized uh, people, man, when all the chips are down. They're gonna start uh, eating themselves, man. All right, and especially these Americans here, all right, in Babylon the Great, which is America. These people are, are self aren't self sufficient. They're spoiled. All right, the other one is instant gratification, and uh and and, uh, and uh, instant everything instant, man. Fat fast food, all right, a fast service. Uh, and they they deal only with with uh, uh conveniences, man. But when when things start to get uncomfortable here in society, man, all right, these these people are gonna easily flip out, man, become mad, all right, become crazy. So it says now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense recompense upon thee all thy abominations, right? And the reason why people aren't getting right right now is because the Mosai isn't really really pushing pushing and bringing uh, bringing in judgment 
uh, uh, right away. Okay. And uh, I'm going to Ecclesiastes 5 and 10. It says, um, uh, and saying it, but I'll start reading Ecclesiastes 5 and 10. It says, He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also vanity. Right, because at the end of the day, these riches aren't going to save you, save you in the time of destruction. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Right, Be and, and, and that is why wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. Right, because we're going to understand why these things are happening and that these, have to, these things have to happen in order for salvation to come. Okay, so... Um, uh, I believe it's Ecclesiastes 10, then, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Wrong the whole time. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right? So right now, uh, 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 the, uh, the, the, the hearts of men are, are set to do evil. Why? Because the Most High hasn't judged these people according to their ways, man. Remember when you go into the book of um, Sirach, the, fi the fifth chapter, it speaks about uh, um, the most high's long suffering and patience and, and patience to judge to judge man you know he's just letting your sins pile up so so he could further so your, your judgment could be a uh, uh, greater man all right verse 4 it says my eyes shall not spare thee right and the lord is not going to spare uh, 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 the wicked of our people man you two thirds all right because you guys are living are right, the ways of, of the devil right now you guys don't want to return and repent and be reconciled uh, with the Lord, man, and his son, Shai. All you guys want to do is uh, serve your own belly, okay? Do do, do uh, 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 abominably, okay? You know, uh, uh, living your best life, uh, living a YOLO life, uh, being disrespectful uh, uh, um, to the ways of the Heavenly Father. So that so that's what the Lord said, his, his night shall not... His, his eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and you should know that I am the Lord. Alright? So thus said the Lord, yet power. Evil and only evil, behold, is come, man. So it's going to be real, uh, 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 terrible, right? You know, it's going to be real horrific, man. You know, Daniel 12 chapter says, what? They that no nation has seen, man. Okay, uh, I'm going to jump down to verse 19. It says, uh, And they shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of Yahweh. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their, bow their bowels, because it is it is a stumbling block of their iniquity, man. So all these millionaires, these rich uh, uh, people that are prepping, all right, that have so-called bumpers that have millions stored up, you know, th those things aren't gonna be able to deliver them when 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 uh, all hell breaks loose, man. When the Lord brings his, his destruction, why? Because they didn't store, all right, their treasures in heaven, man. All right, going back to Matthew six and twenty says, but lay, all right, lay not your, uh, says, but lay uh, up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Uh, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal, man. Because ultimately, I a man that has uh, uh, stored up riches in, in the earth, I, you know, who pre who is prepping during uh, what they call um, shit hitting the fan, I, those things could be robbed and spoiled, man. All right, that's why uh, the Lord said they won't profit, man. All right, it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart also be also. All right, man. 
right? And, and your heart's supposed to be or, uh, towards the heavens, man. Your affection is supposed to be to, towards the heavens. Verse 22, the light of the body is the eye, and therefore the eye be single, that whole body should be full of light. All right? So our eyes should, should, should only be, be focusing on our Lord Yahweh Shai, man, who, who came and delivered us and, and, and became an atonement for our sins, man. You know? And that's the true wisdom and understanding, man. All right? This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Um, six, I'm going to start at um, verse 17. It says, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. All right? And what is discipline? Let me look up the word discipline. It says, the practice of training people to obey rules, man. Or a code of behavior, all right. So, discipline right, is a, a, a being obedient unto the heavenly Father, man. What, the, what, what? How is it written, Samuel? Or be, obedience is better than sacrifice, all right. So the Most High, he 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 requires obedience, man. All right, to follow His ways, man. To to not uh, uh, uh lean onto your own understanding, man. All right, it says uh in the care of discipline. Is love, all right? And it's going to break down what love is. It's, and love is the keeping of her laws, all right? And the laws are written in the Bible for a reason, all right? They show you how to deal and how to treat your neighbor uh, righteously, all right? And, uh, 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 it it uh, lets you know how to deal with certain situations that may, that uh, uh, may happen and, uh, through mischief, all right? You know, like if you have a, a, a you know, in the law, it, it talks about uh, if, if cattle boards another cat, uh, 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 you know, ox. If ox boards another ox, you know, and depending on the situation, all right, you know, the the beast, all right, uh, either it, it, it is, uh, um, you know, restored with money, all right, or, or with another, uh, 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 you know, another animal, all right. You know, uh, in different situations like that, man. You know, if uh, um, if, if your woman commits adultery, or we have suspicion, all right, that your wife is become uh, um, you know, is committing adultery, then you know you you know you you deal with the whole matter accordingly according to the law, man. All right, so there were no so no wickedness, all right, could spread, man. All right, you know, in different situations like that, man. All right, you know, uh. It, it, the law is there for us to be live in fairness, man. All right. And I can't think about more examples. All right. But at the moment, but the point is that the, the Most High said, man. And, and matter of fact, now that I'm mentioning the law, Deuteronomy six and four. Oh, no. My fault. It's Deuteronomy four and six. It says. I'm going to start at 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Yahweh my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land where you go to possess it. All right? And the Most High he gave us our land to dwell in. All right? He, he, gave, he gave us uh, 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 um, somewhere we could dwell and have our own. But what, what our people do, they they um, you know, they had no discipline, man. They disobeyed the laws and the commandments of the Heavenly Father. All right, and went astray. Verse 6, it says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is wise and understanding people. And you see, and that's the point, man, because the, la the law of statutes and commandments, are right, they make you to be uh, a fair and understanding and be wise. All right? You know, uh, look, uh, look at how Solomon dealt with, with the people, man. All right, it says there was none wiser than him in all the kingdoms, man. All right, because you know, I'll go back anyway, but you know, I lost my train of thought. But, anyways, it says, um, verse 18 and love is keeping up for laws, and giving heed unto her laws is, is the assurance of incorruption. All right, and we and, and we want to be assured that we won't uh, go off, man. All right. Matter of fact, it says here, man, um, 
But the most high, he's going to, uh, it says, um, uh, no, matter of fact, I'm going to hold that. I'm just going to keep reading real fast. It says, uh, and then corruption make us near unto the most high. And why? Because, like, matter of fact, now, now, now that I read this, now that I read of that, this is, uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 5, 55 says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. All right. Now, once, now once uh, we become incorruptible, all right, we fully when we completely come incorruptible, where, whereas we can't sin no more because remember the new covenant is what man that the most high is gonna put that new bot new mind new I mean that new heart and you know the, the the heart of flesh and in, into us that we should be perfect man okay and that's when we, we should be raised incorruptible immortal all right and and that's gonna make us near unto the heavenly father why because we, the law statutes and commandments that the most high gave us from, from the beginning to be uh, our wisdom in the sight of the nations is going to be a uh, Recorded into our minds permanently, man. All right, which is gonna make us near unto Yahweh, man. All right, that's what Scripture says, man. Uh, say, say not the kingdom coming from here or there, but lo, the kingdom of heaven is within was within us, man. Because this word, all right, that we're preaching, man, all right, is the kingdom of the Most High. All right, it says therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. All right. It says, if your delight be in in uh, then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. All right. So in order for us to reach to to uh, um to obtain the kingdom, all right, we uh, we must have wisdom, man. All right. And the Most High has gave us uh, uh the earnest of the spirit a down payment, all right, of his wisdom, man, of his faith. You see, that's what scripture says, man. There's no condemnation of those that are with Yahweh Shai, man, because the Yahweh Shai dwelleth in us, man. And if we continue to to worship and, and, and endure and, and not get weak and fall off, all right, then then we're gonna then we're gonna ultimately reign with Him forever, man. All right. It says verse twenty two. As for wisdom, what it, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you. And will not hide my, my hid mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity, and uh, and bring the knowledge of her into light, and will not pass over the truth. All right, and and um, and and, and that's part of uh, uh um, this work, man. All right, building up the elect. All right, not not not, not putting our light under the bed, under a bu uh, on under a bushel. All right, but letting our light shine, man. It says, uh, and bring the knowledge of her into into light. You see, it says neither will I go with consuming envy, for such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. All right, so uh, you know I'm gonna stop there. But uh, you know, you know the point it was made, man. All right, when when all hell breaks loose and and, and uh, we have no uh. uh, uh you know, when when these riches and, and these materialistic things can't profit of us, we're gonna have to depend on the fear of the Lord, man. We're gonna have to depend on 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 his, on his this wisdom and knowledge, all right, that that we've been entrusted with. So, um, you know, this is a quick lesson I you know, wanted to get into. Um, Lord willing, this video was edifying. So, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash, double double honors to the apostles, a great millstone. And salutations to the Akin pushing the word of truth and sharing our charity. So with that, um, say shalom. Wa abad